Have you ever been curious why a drug that works well for one person may cause side effects or not even work at all in another? Much of the answer lies in our genes in the science of pharmacogenetics, the study of how our genes affect how our bodies will respond to different medications, including how safe and effective they will be for us and whether they will have side effects. Treatment guidelines for drugs are based on averages from drug trials, but no one is really average. We are each as unique as our DNA. Just like your genes determine everything else about you, your genes also determine how effective your body will be at processing different medications. Pharmacogenetic testing identifies which genes you have inherited that are known to affect the body's ability to process different drugs. Some genes you can inherit will cause your body to process certain medications too quickly, or be what is called a rapid metabolizer of certain medications, while other genes can cause the body to process certain medications too slowly or cause you to be a slow metabolizer. This is all based on the amount and quality of different substrates you have in your body that are critical in breaking down that particular drug, like enzymes which are needed to break down drugs in the body, drug transporters, which take the drug where it needs to go in the body to take effect, and drug receptors, which are like the lock and keys that let different drugs into our cells. Pharmacogenetic testing identifies the rate at which your body will process different drugs and what that means in terms of which medications and doses are likely to work best for you with the least side effects. People generally fall into four categories when it comes to each medication. A normal metabolizer will process the medication through their system at a normal rate, meaning they can use that drug at standard doses and only need to follow the usual precautions or slow metabolizers of a medication will break that drug down more slowly than most people, resulting in higher amounts of the medication in their system than what's expected. As a result, they may be more likely to experience side effects if they're given a standard dose. Intermediate metabolizers may have a slightly slower rate of processing a medication, increasing their risk of experiencing side effects at a standard dose. In contrast, ultra-rapid metabolizers of a drug may break down the medication too fast, causing the drug to be processed through the body before it can provide adequate symptom relief. The same person can be a poor metabolizer of one medication while being an ultra-rapid metabolizer of another. Sometimes, you can also have more than one gene impacting how your body processes a medication, with each gene having a different effect, meaning your response to the drug is likely to be unpredictable. Your Inogene Personalized Insights Report provides a roadmap of which medications and doses are likely to work best for you and which ones are probably best for you to avoid. Your personalized drug recommendations are based on which unique gene variants were detected in your cheek swab sample. Having this information before starting a new medication could be the difference between spending months or years in a frustrating cycle of trial and error and finding a medication that works well for you on the first try. Your Inogene report classifies medications into four different categories based on how your body is predicted to respond to them. A medication will be classified as red or do not use if your body is predicted to process it in a way that will make it an unacceptable choice for you, either because it is unlikely to work for you at all or because it will give you unacceptable side effects or safety concerns. When medications are classified as yellow or used with caution, it means your body will process that drug in an altered way than most people, and that there are things that you will need to be aware of if you're going to be treated with that drug. These recommendations usually provide special instructions for how you should take that medication based on your genes. Medications are classified as used as directed if you're expected to respond to them like most people would, because you don't carry any of the gene variants that are known to interfere with them. You can use green medications as directed at standard doses. However, this does not guarantee that the medication will work well for you or have no side effects, and it doesn't prevent you from developing drug resistance or dependence. The last category is called preferred. Medications in this category are those that you may be even more likely to respond to than the average person, based on your genes. While your personalized insights report can help you find the best medications for your body, your energy test results are only one part of a complex puzzle. Other factors also contribute to treatment selection and individual response, including your age, weight, diet, overall health, other medications, and many others. We should also note that, just as each family member is unique in so many other ways, each person is different in how they will respond to different medications, and your individual test results cannot be applied to others in your family. It is important to understand that pharmacogenetic testing does not test for your risk of developing any diseases. 
and it can't tell you if you have any medical conditions. Pharmacogenetic testing only determines how you are likely to respond to different medications. And lastly, you can be rest assured that no one will have access to your information or DNA without your permission. Inagene would also like to remind you that you should never modify treatment on your own without consulting a prescriber or physician. Although your own doctor and healthcare team are always the best resource for information about your health, if you or your healthcare providers have any questions regarding your results or pharmacogenetics in general, the Inagene team is always happy to help. Just email info at inagene.com.